right? Playing centers is a bit like reading a book. However, you're often presented with a choice on what to say, think, or do. Your decisions will shape the story ahead. So, this is one of those, like, choose your path games. But I'm so excited for the artwork. Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. I'm back though. I don't know what to think about it. People deserve a second chance, or should get what they deserve. <sighs> I think we should do deserve a second chance and see what happens, because it really just depends. I know the basic story of Cinderella, and I straight up do think they should get what they deserve, story is going to play it, so we're going to do the assumption. Deserve a second chance. You can't erase the past, that's for sure. But I know that sometimes we don't choose our fates. Were circumstances different, my stepsisters could be good people. We could be friends. And see, that's what I've always thought. I'm like, they're nasty and terrible people because of the stepmother. They're mimicking the behavior seeing and allowed to do so if the circumstances were different they would anyways <laughs> whatever happens I hope they won't come into harm they deserve another chance Ooh. meanwhile in the hallway Gloria I still can't believe she did it I would never have suspected Sophia, of course, because everyone is as dim-witted as you are and never does anything out of the ordinary or unexpected. <laughs> Jesus. Oh yes, I'm sure you were able to foresee what would happen. Did you see it in the tea leaves or read it in a children's book one afternoon while avoiding work and being useless as usual? Jeez, they are mean to each other. Oh my god. Pleasantries. You know why I'm here. Where is 
is she? Very well, Sophia gets in Dur's ear right away. Yes, mother. Be quick about it, child. Captain, would you fancy some wine while we wait for my lazy stepdaughter? Why is everyone hating on Sophia? Don't push it. You know this is not a courtesy visit. I'm afraid a lot is going to change here tonight. Cinders, he's right. Nothing will ever be the same. Nothing. I must admit, I'm afraid of it too. Some independent woman I am. Cinders, mother has summoned you. Move. You know she doesn't like to wait. Cinders, fine, fine. I'm moving. Just give me a moment. Make sure it's quick. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Sophia, Cinders, can I, can I ask you something? Yes, Sophia. This whole situation, what happened this evening and the card bashing at our door and all, it's because of you, right? You planned it. Sorry, my allergies will always be the bane of my existence. Um, how should I reply? Tell the truth, lie to her. <laughs> I almost think sense to lie to her, but I know she's the nice one. Ugh, this is hard. Let's... Let's tell the truth. Yes, I guess so. I guess so. You definitely made it happen. Funny, it all started with my stepmother summoning me just like now. Oh, are we gonna get a backstory? Seven days earlier. Cinders, what a beautiful morning. The last few days were all rain and gloom, but here we are, summer in its fullest. Press plus sign to open the in-game menu to save game or quit the game. Your progress is also auto-saved when you quit. The sun is sure nice. I can get pretty cold. This room of mine. Although I don't feel so frisky right now. Frisky? That's a weird word to use. Probably shouldn't have burned the midnight oil over a book. And a silly one, too. Adolescent girl, pretty and numb as a freshly cut flower, shows divine humility and courage while everyone treats her like a doormat. Who writes these things? It's like a girl can't aim for anything better than martyrdom. Martyrdom. I can't martyr dumb martyr dumb because <laughs> martyr I know that word. Cinders. Funny though, it's really if it's really that bad, why did I read it in the first place? Maybe something and it echoes a part of my own experience. I don't know. And I'm not going to spend the morning wondering about it. Of course, if it isn't it isn't as if I'll get to enjoy Lady Carmelissa will definitely make sure that I have to do the worst chores. The old hag could use any of her servants, but no, she always sends me just to rub it and rub in the humiliation. <laughs> if only father, if only father was still here on a day like this, he would surely take me to the forest. We always went to the lake, the magical lake, as he called it and left a loaf of bread under the old tree. Interesting tr tradition. <laughs> My stuttering is getting worse today. Cinders, gotta pay tribute to the fairies. You never know when you may need their help. Good old man, he used to tell me stories about the little folk. Even when I was too Honestly, I talk to myself way too often these days. It's only a moment before I start considering mice and sparrows my only friends, and we will go frolicking and singing together. Wow, they're making fun of Cinderella. They're making fun of it. <laughs> my future animal companions will have to wait, though. I may 
she says she has a special job for you. No doubt something rudimentary enough. So, you were sent here to fetch me then. Mother entrusts me with the important tasks. Don't mistake me for being on your level. You wait here. I'll let her know that you finally rolled out of bed. I think I'm gonna do this because... Stand. Yeah. Don't you ever get tired of all this? Tired? What are you babbling about? You try so hard to be like Garbosa. You dress like her. You speak like her. And yet, she still treats you as little more than a servant. Dot, dot, dot. I think I struck a nerve. I can't believe it. Did I really just get her to shut up? I was expecting an insult at the very least. The room feels empty again. Even Gloria's presence is better than nothing. Truthfully, I feel bad for her. I may be the servant around here, but her situation isn't that different from mine. Both Gloria and Sophia spend every waking moment doing Carmosa's bidding. Just because it's not scrubbing floors doesn't mean they're not servants, too. Lady Carmosa, so you're finally up, you lazy girl. Can anyone in this house just do what is asked of them? I swear, you feeble-minded girls are going to be the death of me. God, I hope so. Lady Carmosa. But you've wasted too much of my time already. I have a job for you. Do you now? Lady Carmosa. certain service. That sounds sketchy. I'm giving you 200 sovereigns exactly. Don't you dare lose them. I must be a fool to entrust you with this much money, but unfortunately I've no one else to send. I have better plans for these two useless daughters of mine. Damn. <laughs> now hurry up, child. Time is of the essence. Carmosa has been speaking to me this whole time, alternating between insults and orders. Do I really have to silently accept this? Ooh, let's think for a second. Should I just take it? I'm gonna ask what service. I, cause I want to know, and I think I deserve to know. And I dare this bitch to smack me or something. Alright, sorry about that. I went ahead and blew my nose. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna ask her what service. What exactly is the service you're paying for? Mind your own business, child. There's no need for you to know. Why can't any of you girls just obey me without asking such vacant questions? I don't feel like that was a vacant question. I feel like that was a fair question. Now hurry up. is even more angry than usual today. I wonder what set her off. I've never seen her this defensive. She must be hiding something. I suppose it could be worse. A trip to town isn't such a terrible thing. It's a beautiful day and a great excuse to get away from the house. I won't even get in trouble for leaving as quickly as I can. Besides, Tobias has always been nice to me, so I'll jo enjoy seeing him again. This could be a rather pleasant trip. Oh, so I can... So I have to go through the forest and the cemetery, it looks like, to get to the town, I think. I don't know, but I also see a bridge. We might not have to go through the cemetery. Freaky. I suppose a trip to the lake. 
life wouldn't make a difference one way or the other. It's been so long since my last visit, and I do miss it. I'll go. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm glad I chose to come. This place is just as beautiful as it was when Father used to take me here. As a child, I knew that this place was magical, but I've outgrown fairy tales now. Still, there's something to this place. It feels enchanted. Maybe it's because it hasn't changed a bit since I was a little brat. I remember that Father would always leave a gift for the fairies every time we visited. Maybe I should do the same. It depends. I could leave a gift, but what do you have other than the money? That's not a good idea. Uh, I'm gonna hit sure and just see what happens. I wish I had brought something with me, but I don't really own anything that would make a proper gift anyway. Well, it's the intent behind the gift that matters more than the actual gift. As long as I'm honoring the fairies, they'll appreciate it. That's what Father would say. I guess he really was a big child deep inside. I think I'll weave a wreath out of some of the flowers here. I'm sure the fairies would appreciate it. <laughs> it's coming along nicer than I expected. It's been such a long time since I did anything like this. It feels a little nostalgic. It's funny how when we grow up, we start to rejecting things we consider childish only to return to them later with great joy. I think I'll leave this wreath under that old oak. That's where Father always left our gifts when we came.